Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of Mass for NTSC concept. Without any delay, let's start today's concept. Today we are going to see coordinate geometry 2 concept. In this, first one is slope of the line joining two points. Slope of the line joining two points. What is the slope of the line joining two points? So all of you carefully see. I am taking a plane. This is a y axis. This is x axis. Okay. We need a line. I am taking line. This is our line. This is our line. Okay. Now let's carefully observe. This is y axis. This is x axis. This is our region. Okay. This is the line. This is the line L. Just observe this line making an angle theta. So we are measuring this angle in anti clockwise direction. So inclination is equal to inclination. Inclination is equal to theta okay and now we are taking two points here a part of line first one p i'm taking x1 comma y1 x to q x2 comma y2 i want slope of this pq i want slope of pq is how much okay for that Already we have proved distance formula. Same way we have to prove this one also. Now just drop the perpendiculars. I drop a perpendicular to x axis from here. And from here drop another perpendicular to this line. So this point of contact is considered as M. So now we are getting Q M P. Q M P is a right triangle we have studied. Can you tell what is the distance PM? PM. PM is nothing but difference of the X coordinates. So X2 minus X1. Longer one is X2. Shorter is X1. So X2 minus X1. Can you tell this cube M? QM means difference of Y coordinates. So Y2 minus Y1. This already we have we have discussed this type concept in proving distance formula okay now we got uh, pm and we got qm look at all of you this x axis and this line both are parallel okay both are parallel and this is theta then this also this also will be theta why because corresponding angles these two are parallel lines this is a transversal corresponding angle so it is a right angle triangle we can apply tan theta. Hope you understand. Apply tan theta in this right angle triangle. So, tan theta is equal to opposite side. Qm by Pm. Qm means y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. Tan theta means what? If inclination is theta, then tan theta is said to be slope. So, slope. So finally, slope m is equal to what we got y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. This is the formula. Very, very important formula. The slope of the line passing through P. This line is passing through P x1 y1 and Q x2 y2. Then its slope is y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 means difference of y coordinates i will write here slope is equal to difference of y coordinates by difference of x coordinates x coordinates that is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 this is it this is the important formula Please note down. 
hope you understand let's move next one relationship between slopes when two lines are parallel we are taking here two lines those lines are parallel for this also i am taking y axis and x axis and i am taking two pair this is the first line and this is the second line okay now i will show you this is y axis this is x axis this is origin okay so this is l1 first line this is second line so i am taking l1 comma l2 are two lines are two lines what we considered here l1 l2 are parallel so l1 parallel to l2 so whenever we want to find slopes we need inclination so i am taking first line we are measuring in anti clockwise direction that angle i am taking is theta 1 second line i am taking theta 2 okay hope you understand here so inclination theta 1 comma theta 2 are inclinations okay can you tell what is the theta 1 and theta 2 what is the relation between theta 1 and theta 2 yes these two are parallel this is transversal so these two are corresponding angles theta 1 is equal to theta 2 why because corresponding angles are equal apply tan on both side apply tan apply tan why we are applying tan because slope is nothing but tan theta so apply means automatically slope relation will come so tan theta 1 is equal to tan theta 2 if theta 1 is inclination of line 1 then tan theta 1 is nothing but slope of line 1 slope slope of line 1 i am taking as m1 slope of line 2 i am taking as m2 so tan 2 is nothing but m2 so what the relation we got here m1 is equal to m2 means slopes are equal slopes are equal when two lines are parallel then slopes are equal very very important point when two lines are parallel the slopes are equal okay this proof if you want means note down actually for ntsc the proof no need this point enough if you remember means slopes are equal when lines are parallel let's see next one same concept relation between slopes when two lines are perpendicular perpendicular same how we draw diagram like that i am trying here so this is y axis this is x axis now we have we have to take two perpendicular lines this is first line and with 90 degrees so this is second line okay i am representing here with letters this is y this is zero this is x axis so first line i am taking this is l1 first line this is l2 the angle between l1 and l2 is 90 degrees why because they should be perpendicular so 90 we have this is 90 mean this also 90 why because opposite angles are equal vertically opposite angles so first line as usual first line we can take inclination first line inclination is nothing but theta 1 second line inclination you have to take like this always you have to take anti clockwise direction so the second line is nothing but theta 2 okay can you find this angle this angle is nothing but this is a linear pair so 180 minus theta 2 okay if you observe here we are forming a triangle here we are forming a triangle so sum of the all angles in triangle is 180 that concept i am using just adding all so add means theta 1 plus 90 plus 180 minus theta 2 is equal to 180 degrees sum of the all angles is equal to 180 so 180 180 cancel okay 90 keep this side only this theta 2 going means minus theta 2 will become plus theta 2 and theta 1 will become minus theta 1 okay uh, whatever negative having that take and come this side so 90 plus theta 1 is equal to 
theta 2 now which ratio we have to apply on both side tan so I'm applying tan on both side tan 90 plus theta 1 is equal to tan theta 2 okay this we have studied in trigonometric ratios 90 plus theta means which quadrant 90 plus theta means second quadrant in second quadrant tan is positive or negative tan is negative so negative whenever 90 is there it will change tan will become as cot so cot theta 1 will come minus cot theta 1 is equal to tan theta 2 so you have to convert all the things into tan so cot is reciprocal of tan so minus 1 by tan theta 1 is equal to tan theta 2 as we got here so theta 1 is the inclination of first line theta 2 is the inclination of second line then tan theta 1 and tan theta 2 are the slopes we know already so uh, tan theta 1 means m1 so minus 1 by m1 is equal to m2 very very important relation so this also we can rewrite this m2 here will come this m1 here will go so no problem minus m1 minus 1 by m2 minus 1 by m2 is equal to m1 or we can write like this also this m2 this m1 denominator m1 if send like this means this both will multiply so m1 into m2 is equal to minus 1 so whenever two lines are perpendicular what we can tell product product of slopes product of slopes is equal to minus 1 super thing previous one when two lines are parallel slopes are equal here when two lines are perpendicular product of the slopes is equal to minus 1 hope you got this point let's move next the relation between slopes when collinear we have studied collinear collinear means a line we have to take and actually uh, three or more points lying on the same line means we can tell as collinear okay so we are taking here three points only always three points only they will ask as in problem so three point enough for so i'm taking here points this is first point a this is second point b second point third point c so these all are lying on same line so inclinations are equal why because they are not making any angle with x x or else it makes some angle also uh, corresponding angles are equal so our inclinations are equal the inclination at a is equal to the inclination at b is equal to the inclination at c so slope of this part slope of a b is equal to this one now slope of b c is equal to slope of c a one point not done i said you when collinear asked find the k value when the points are collinear this type of question coming time what i said you apply area of triangle like that i said instead of applying area of triangle this concept if you use means answer will come fastly shortcut method okay suppose i am taking a is x1 comma y1 b i am taking as x2 comma y2 c i am taking as x3 comma y3 now tell me the slope of a b we already discussed slope is nothing but difference of y coordinates by x coordinates so y2 minus y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 that is equal to slope of bc now this one difference of y coordinates so y3 minus y2 by x3 minus x1 that is equal to now ac these two so same way y3 minus y1 now y1 by x3 minus x1 this is the important relation when collinear they gave in problem you can use this concept also hope you understand now here onwards we are going to see some questions here small small questions i will explain here find the slope of line passing through the points m m given minus 2 comma 3 n given 2 comma 7 this 
slope of m n we want to find so the points two points they will give and they will ask slope that time you have to consider first point as x1 y1 second point x2 comma y2 so slope asking slope of m n slope of m n formula what ma y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 apply here y2 use 7 7 minus y1 is 3 7 minus 3 by x2 is 2 minus minus 2 again so minus minus plus 2 so 7 minus 3 is 4 4 by 4 4 by 4 means 1 so slope is e slope is equal to 1 hope you understand easy problem let's see second problem here also same thing find the slope of line passing through pair of points minus 4 comma 0 and origin so first point minus 4 comma 0 second point origin origin we can take as 0 comma 0 same thing you apply y x1 y1 x2 comma y2 so slope m is equal to difference y2 minus y1 so 0 minus 0 0 minus 0 by x2 minus x1 0 minus r minus plus 4 so 0 minus 0 means 0 by 4 0 by 4 is nothing but 0 so slope of the line passing through minus 4 comma 0 and origin is 0 let's see third problem what is the slope of line y is equal to 9 y is equal to 9 can you tell y is equal to line means what y is equal to 9. just draw a line draw y is equal to 9 in the Cartesian Plane. then what will come y is equal to 1 2 3. suppose this is 9 9 means the line will be like this y is equal to 9 y is equal to 9 is parallel to we know that y is equal to suppose example k k is always parallel to x axis yes or no y is equal to k is parallel to x axis so y is equal to 9 also parallel to parallel to x axis we have studied that the inclination of line which is parallel to x axis is 0 degrees so theta is equal to 0 degrees so m is equal to tan theta whenever theta given you apply tan theta whenever points given y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 apply so tan 0 tan 0 means 0 so slope of y is equal to 9 is equal to 0 Yes. let's move fourth problem what is the slope of line x is equal to minus 5 x is equal to minus 5 x is equal to minus 5 is always parallel is always parallel to y axis why because it is of the form it is of the form x is equal to k x is equal to k is parallel to y axis y is equal to k is parallel to x axis so x is equal to k given it is parallel to y axis so slope of line which is parallel to y axis means we have studied it is undefined one more question this is all very very important the slope is undefined let's see fifth problem if the angle of inclination of the straight line is 30 degrees find its slope inclination means theta theta is equal to 30 degrees they are asking slope slope is equal to which formula we have to apply here inclination given means tan so tan theta so tan means tan 30 degrees tan 30 degrees we have to remember the ratios trigonometric ratio that value is nothing but 1 by root 3 so slope is equal to 1 by root 3 hope you understand let's see last problem find the angle of inclination of straight line whose slope is 1 by root 3 previous question only here also 1 by root 3 we got slope so same problem reversely ask no they gave slope means m m is equal to 1 by root 3 given and they are asking what is inclination so we know m is equal to tan theta tan theta is equal to 1 by root 3 so tan theta is equal to in, in the table trigonometric table ratios table when 1 by root 3 will come we know that tan 30 is equal to 1 by root 3 so in place of 1 by root 3 we can write tan 30 so theta is equal to tan tan will be cancelled so theta is equal to 30 degrees this is the inclination 
hope you understand that is today's class thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe